Okay, welcome to another demonstration. Today we'll be looking at Quizlet. Now, Quizlet helps teachers engage students of all levels through curriculum-based materials, interactive study methods, and games. All right, so let's get started. Now, what you want to do first is open up your browser. You're going to go ahead and type in Quizlet. Hit the enter key on your keyboard and it will take you to the search results. Now we want to click on the one that will redirect us to quizlet.com. All right. Now after navigating to the Quizlet website, you see a few options here. So it says get started. It says I am a teacher, I am a parent. Now let's click on the I am a teacher option. Now after clicking on the I am a teacher option, it is asking us to sign up and it is also telling us that signing up is free. All right, so we'll just click to sign up. Now again, there are some options here in terms of signing up. You can choose to fill out this form, all right, and then sign up or you can sign up with your Google account or you can sign up with a Facebook account. Now, just to make our lives easy, we're just going to go ahead and sign up with our Google account, all right? So I'll select the Google account that I want to be associated with Quizlet. To enter my password. To enter next. And I say it's asking me for some information still. So it's asking me for month of birth, day of birth. And also the here. All right, so you just enter these information. All right, let's assume I can find my, okay, year of birth. All right, so it, it gave me a username and the username is John underscore Williams 808 and they generated that by default. So I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to select, I'm a teacher and then I'm going to click sign up. All right. Now I am now signed in as is indicated by the profile icon right here. All right. So this is the Quizlet website when we are signed in. Now it is asking, well, it's telling me that I can discover popular sets, which would be study sets, note sets, right? It's telling me as well that I can create my own set. Now, what those are is basically creating flashcards, and then students can now use those flashcards to study. Now, what comes along with also creating a set is that students can go ahead and do written assessments, spelling assessments, um, test activities, so on and so forth. Okay. Right. 